priest because Pontius Pilate knew he was innocent. Pontius Pilate knew he was innocent. So he said, I'm innocent of the, um, he said, my hands is free of this um, innocent man's blood. So he sent them to Caiaphas. And Caiaphas, when he started to, um, they pierced Jesus and stuff, he ripped his clothes and the high priest can't rip their clothes. So he gave up his whole um, office and stuff like that. He wasn't the high priest no more after that. So a lot of stuff changed. And that automatically made Christ the priest, a high priest. We read over that in the teaching a while back, got into a lot of details on it. And that's part of the reason why every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of the Father. He used to run around saying things like, all power has been given to me on earth to forgive sins. They didn't think he could forgive sins. They said, who is this that can forgive sins? Only God can forgive sins. He used to run around saying things like, if you don't believe I'm he, you will die in your sins. He used to He used to say You have to He used to say Well If you don't believe me Believe the works that I do That the Father is in me And I'm in the Father So he gave many teachings And many lessons All the miracles he did Is not even written in a book He did so many miracles But the ones we have We see Man These people had hearts that was like stone. They had a heart of, like a real hardened heart. And everything he did and everything he proved and taught, they would resist. So he started saying things like, man, a prophet is not worthy in his own town or his own country. You gotta remember, he started preaching when he was 12 years old and they wasn't trying to receive him. A 12 year old baby they not trying to receive and he proving everything he's doing with the scriptures so you gotta see how his mind was developing as a young child he was God already but as a child for unto us a son is given for unto us a child is born and the government shall be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty God the everlasting father the prince of peace so he was 12 years old preaching in the temple and he had to run them people out of the temple and all these things going on so he's already proven everything that y'all can't be in here selling all these turtle doves that's not in the law that they could be in the temple selling turtle doves they supposed to be throwing offering offerings and stuff in there they was in there selling turtle doves and probably try to um exchanging money and stuff like that they called them money changers money changers All right, show me in the law. You can get all the Hebrew Israelite camps you want. It don't matter. Show me in the law where it say they could sell turtle doves in the temple. Sell turtle doves in the temple. Jesus went over there and flipped over all the money tables. Said, He said, my father's house shall be called the house of prayer, but you made it a den full of thieves. He said, make not my father's house a den full of thieves. He said it should be called a house of prayer for all nations. So they thought they was keeping the law until he came and started showing them. Man, y'all don't really even know what the Sabbath is. Y'all claim keep the Sabbath and keep it holy. But as soon as one of y'all um, go in the temple and profane the Sabbath, y'all not saying nothing. See, don't nobody want to talk about these teachings because they're hard sayings. When, look, 